So I'm doing that on the side. Okay, so this is the Okay, there it is. So that's the pendulum I gave you. If you run this, it's basically is uh, perturbed by a certain angle and just passively keeps running. Okay. So let's read the question. So now this is what is I'm trying to get you to do something which is called position and velocity control. Okay. So it's a build up towards this. And what I did was I actually told you to first figure out how to do velocity controls. So essentially move the pendulum at speed of 0.1. Then I told you to do position control which is uh, you want a pendulum to go to pi divided by two or 90 degrees. And that is all through the Lua script. And once you figure those two out, you can do the third part, which is position velocity control. You move the pendulum at speed of 0.1. And then once it reaches between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5, which is about minus 30 to plus 30 degrees, you want to turn on the position control. So first of all, there's these two parts are not to be submitted. However, I do think that's very important for you to solve those two parts first, because doing part three, part C is just a copy paste of the code for the first two parts. Okay. So I would not recommend skipping this. In fact, you need to be able to take the baby steps to solve this problem. If you want to do anything more complex. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a and B and then show you how that naturally tends helps me do C quickly. Okay. So here is uh, the pendulum I gave you. Okay. And then um, let me just set the joint to 180. Okay, so it's vertical, so it will not move now. And what I'm trying to do now is do the velocity control. Okay, so I need to command the pendulum to rotate at uniform speed of 0.1 radians per second. Okay. And the way I got a hint to do this is actually we could do this using the GUI. We could potentially click joint. We could show dynamic properties. We can enable the motor, right? So if we enable the motor, then it will move at point one. Okay. So that's fine. You can do that. But if you want to do a switching control between position and velocity, then you better do it in code because switching is not enabled within the GUI, right? So Let's disable that and we want to use motor enable. So the parameter 2000 actually gave you a hint on how to, how to program it. So let's try to open the Coppelia sim function library. Then we want to see float parameter. I think it's called set object. Okay. Just You can choose either of them. And so uh, the call is right here. Okay. So first we need to enable velocity control and then we do velocity. We set the velocity. So let's take this and paste it in our core. Okay. So we need an object handle. So I already did that. Previously, I'm just going to copy it from that file. Okay, so this is basically based on joint, which is right here. And so then we'll take this and paste it here. And then parameter ID and number of parameter. Okay, so let's see how we get that. So I said, give you a hint, it's parameter 2000. So let's just go to the manual and see where is 2000. So 2000, if you search, it says it's an int 32 parameter. Okay. And then you can either enable state zero or not enable. So, so it's, if you set it to zero, it's not enable. And then if it's one, two, three, whatever you want, it's, it's enabled. So let's, so since it's int 32, I need to actually use set sim dot set object in 32. So I'm going to copy this. OK, 
Okay, it's not a float. That's the key. It's an int thirty two. So I'll paste it here. Okay, then join motor handle. The parameter is two thousand, and the parameter uh, is well, it's going to be one. So that's enable velocity control. Okay, once I do that, I need to set the target velocity. So for that, if you go back to the manual, set target. So set joint target velocity is what we want. So we'll take that. Paste it here. And then our handle is and we want point one. So let's just do point one. Okay, it all looks good. Let's try it. So you can see that the pendulum is actually moving at point looks looks very slow. Okay, so that's good. So one thing I want to remi remind you is that this init code is only called once, the first time it's called. It's not called all the time. So you're better off actually defining these things in actuation. Anything in the actuation is called uh, is called at every single uh, time stamp. So what happens is this is an integrator which is calling actuation every time stamp, every 50 milliseconds in this case. 50 is here. Uh, and, and, and that's how it's getting updated. Okay, so now we did the velocity control, let's do position control. The key thing here is to note is that if you look at the joint dynamic properties, you see that there is uh, motor is enabled and then you have control loop enabled. In fact, control loop enabled enables you to do position control. So both these settings have to be true. Okay, so that's what we need to do next, which is set parameter 2001. So I actually corrected this to be position control. We need to set both of these variables. So let's do that. So now I'm solving part B, position control. Okay, so 2001, set it to once, enable position control. Now we do not want target velocity, but we want target position. So set joint target position. And then we want it to go to uh, 3.14 divided by two. Now, if I do this, it probably won't do anything. Oh, it did go there. Okay, it did go there because I actually set, I've already had these numbers here. So it actually, when it was enabled, it automatically took these numbers. But if you want to set the PID, so maybe this will, so let me set this to, Zero, zero, zero. Okay, and now disable this. So now it's all zero, zero, zero. And I believe now it will not work. So it's not doing anything because now the PID gains are zero. So let's just go and try to set those. And I actually told you this, I will not look through the manual. I just copy paste what I have. I wrote down, it's basically you need to set float parameters. These are parameters 2002, 2003, 2004, and these are PID gains. And now let's run this. Okay, so that's good. So that works, that's part, uh, that's part B. So this is part A. Part B. Okay, now we are very close to getting this done. So let's comment it out. So that way you can un uncomment it whenever you want if you want to go back and debug. So let's do part C. Okay, so now the part C says, so I have, it's, okay, it's 1049. I, I probably need two or three minutes to do this. Okay, so I'll be over time by two minutes, but feel, feel free to log off if you, if you have to rush. So position velocity control. When the pendulum is vertically downwards, set the velocity control to get the pendulum to rotate at point one. That's the first part. Then once it reaches point five, between 
minus 0.5.5 switch to position control. Okay, so the key thing is that we need to do the switch only when the joint position is between minus 0.5 and plus 0.5. Okay, and so what I need to do here is I need to first get the position of the joint. So for that, I will not go through the manual, but you can check this. It's called sim get sim get joint position and the handle. So this will give me the position in radians. Okay. And so all I need to do is if position is greater than 0.5 and position is less than minus 0.5. So the other way around position is greater than minus 0.5 and less than 0.5. Then what I need to do is I need to switch to position control. So now is where I just take this part and copy it here. Okay. So it will shift, but I also need to ensure that it does velocity control in other cases. So I'm going to just take this code and paste it here and then I need to end it. Okay. So my claim is uh, first when the pendulum is at zero degrees, it's going to go and take this, right? Because it's not within this range. And then once it reaches point minus 0.5 plus 0.5, it's going to switch. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, you can see nothing is moving. And that's because there's something I did, which is incorrect. So you can see here, what I did here was I set the position control and I set the velocity control right in the beginning, but I want to set the position control only when the pendulum is at uh, between minus 0.5 and 0.5. So I need to take this part and put it here. In fact, you might also want to put it here. That way when you uncomment, it will work. Okay, so now what I did was I put this part, which is enable. So by default, I'm enabling, enabling velocity control. It uses this. But then when it reaches between minus 0.5 and 0.5, I enable position control. And then I uh, go for uh, the PID values and set the positions. I think this will work. Let's see. Ah, it's not working. Okay, let's see what might be wrong. I think this should be zero. Okay, I fixed one problem. Anybody else see anything else? Okay, I think this should work. Nope. Okay, so this happens many times. So let's just try it this way. If that helps. Nope. Okay, I'm, by the way, I'm over time. If you want to log off, please log off. But I can just keep working on it because uh, it's all online. So let me see if I can debug this. If anybody sees what I'm doing wrong, let me know.
Okay, few hints here. I set the joint target velocity upon initialization when I did when I did it. We set the PID parameters in init. Okay. Uh, I don't think the PID parameters have anything to pair with velocity control. I'm, I'm trying to struggling to get it to velocity control to work. Okay, set the velocity. I I think this is equivalent to setting it up that way. I I don't. Uh, I think this is equivalent. It doesn't really affect. Let's see. The other thing I think I made a made a mistake is the the limits here. If I if I change the limits to be So, velocity limits is fine. The talk, talks are really big. Okay, that's all fine. Okay, let's see if I can get the my earlier code to work. Let's see if this works because I know that works. Nope. Okay, so this is a, a unique problem because now my earlier code doesn't work. Switch off. Oh yeah. So let's switch off the control GUI. Yeah, that's probably it. Huh. Nope. Is there an error? Sometimes there's just an error. Nope. This looks fine. Also the position. Let's see. I think I switched all of them off, but we can check. Shoot this, switch this. Okay, let's see if this works. Yeah, that works now. So let's uh, backtrack and uh, just just see if my code works. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it works. Okay, thanks, Alberto. Okay, so that's not stable, but that's not the point. The point is, can you do the control, uh, which is switching control? Uh, 